Hey guys, how's it going? So, uh, sorry about no audio in the video yesterday. I didn't realize I accidentally plugged my mic in the wrong way. So, uh, yeah. <laughs> but, uh, this guy right here, the one that I told to go to Yusefka's clinic, I did that because he is the guy that does not believe what you say. So if you tell him to go to Odin Chapel, he'll go to the clinic. And if you tell him to go to the clinic, he'll go to Odin Chapel. So, And then, this was just another person. Um, I forget her name, honestly, but uh, you can actually get her, get uh, blood vials from her. And they're actually a little bit more powerful than the regular blood vials because I believe they uh, heal you like they don't heal you more I believe that's what the Saints blood vial does I think hers it heals you and then for a while it continually heals you guy right there laying on the ground. Oh, crap. You can see their attacks do poison damage now. And there's some banging on this door, I think. Yeah. <laughs> Praise you! Praise the old damn church! And then, uh, the best of luck I did! Best luck of all! <laughs> so he's drunk. <laughs> And you can't get him to join in Odin Chapel, so there's really no point in talking to him. Well, if I said you can't hide for long, it's like I'm not even hiding. I'm right here. Hello. So this, as you can see, there's a brain sucker up there. So you can actually. Kill him right now. And he's dead, so he'll be. Obviously, he'll be dead when we go over there, so. <laughs> Come over here and get thick, cold blood. And then. This is the reason uh, I wanted to come around instead of just going down this ladder because if you would have just gone down this ladder there would have been all of those enemies waiting for you and you would have died <laughs> there is no way around it you'd have been slaughtered right, and I believe this is where I got the numbing mist Since I didn't reset the world, they're all dead. He looks like he's trying to stretch, like he's getting ready for the night and everything. <laughs> Alright, so this is the way where the Bloodsucker and the Crow were. Yay, Quicksilver Bullets. The most random thing you get from them. And then Twin Bloodstone Shards. Shining coins, yippee. 
And I'm not gonna go for that item yet because we need to come back this way. Because, uh, you need to kill Vicar Amelia first before you can continue. So let's see, this way back to Vicar is this way. Yep. And this enemy, you actually want to have... Okay, I don't have any oils, so... But, uh, you want to have Numbing Mist, because... There's a thing that she does where she can actually heal herself. And Numbing Mist stops that from happening. Then there's these big guys with these sticks. Their sticks will cause frenzy. And... Frenzy leaves you with only a little bit of health left. So. As you can see that little symbol up there is the frenzy symbol, so. Before we go and fight Vicar, we're actually gonna go this way because Doo -doo -doo. there are a couple of hunters over here you can fight, and yeah, I'll just go do this now. But uh, there's two hunters here that you can fight. You can see. Oh, there's also one of those creatures. <laughs> but you can see he has what is called the Tenitris, which is a really good uh, lightning weapon. It's not called shock in this one. <laughs> Ooh. As you can see, it does a lot of damage. So. As you can see, that's the special effect of it. You, uh, basically rub it against your neck, kind of, that's what it looks like, and it creates the sparks to power it up. And as you can see, it actually does quite a bit of damage. But, we have overcome him. So there's one hunter now. And he gives you bolt paper. That's what it's called, it's bolt. <laughs> and then, there is one more hunter over here. He has what's called the rifle spear. So you have to be careful of him because that gun there, he can put it together with a spear and basically make it to where he can stab you and then just turn around and shoot you all in one motion. Just like that. <laughs> so he's a little bit more dangerous than the Tenitris. Dang it. My aim isn't always the best. <laughs> oh yeah, go ahead, fall. Ugh, come on, quit being a jerk. As you can see, if all of his blunderbuss bullets hit you, it does quite a bit of damage. how little damage he takes. All 
Alright, you know what? Forget this. I'll come back later when I'm stronger. <laughs> There are a couple items over here, but I'll get them later as well. Oh, I'm probably now I'm gonna go try to fight Vicar with. I don't know what, I'll just go fight her. Why not? And since v Vicar is a beast, she will take extra damage from any kind of fire source but I sadly don't have fire paper so So she's just basically praying about the old blood. You see, she has some really hard to dive sweeping attacks. Thank you. 
So here is the one woman, and there's the guy over there sitting on the statue thing, the where statues rest. <laughs> oh, hello, dear. You weren't lying. This is a safe place. Thank you. I'm in your debt. I'd like to tender my thanks, but I haven't much to offer. All I can give is my blood. But would you even take a horse's blood? Oh, good. Come close, dear. Don't worry. This isn't the first time. <laughs> Ariana, that's her name. Oh, hello. Sorry, dear. You're much too eager. And only so much blood, okay? So you can only carry one blood vial from Ariana. And if you had the nun here, then she would not give you your blood as or her blood as long as you have Ariana's blood in your inventory. Yeah. Okay, so she still hates us. <laughs> He's just a flat out dick. Irene. Oh hello there. Perfect timing. I must warn you not to go near the tomb below Erden Chapel in the Cathedral Ward. Henrik, an old hunter, has gone mad, and he's my mark. So basically, you can go down there anytime you want now, and go fight Henrik with her. And the only problem with fighting Henrik is that if you get a little too over eager you can end up hurting Irene and then Irene I Irene or Eileen however you say her name but if you hit her too many times she'll become hostile toward you so you just have to be careful when fighting Henrik Okay, so run. <laughs> Just gonna try my best to run back to the boss fog. Alright. Alright, round two. I have all 20 of my blood vials this time. That attack you have to be careful of because that will fling you in the air and she can run up while you're stunned and do more damage to you and most likely kill you. Oh, she got me. Down. Oh. See? If you're too careless or if you're not careful enough, she can be quite a difficult boss. But uh, I'm going to run to the Hunter's Dream real quick because I have a lot of... Alright, so I've decided to cut the part out where I was in the Hunter's Dream because it's... I didn't do very much and it's just kind of boring to sit there and watch, you know, the level up and everything, but uh... I leveled up my strength to 17, it was at 14, 
and then I upgraded my hunter's axe once with the twin bloodstone shards I had and then I got six fire paper so I spent all of my insight at the inside shop for it so let's hope this goes differently Shit. doubled my damage output. So that's the healing, as you can see, the health went up quite a bit, but oof, dang it. Alright, so, <laughs> sorry, I kind of went silent there, but I just, I honestly just needed to focus on the battle, so. <laughs> 
finally beat her with one numbing mist and one fire paper left. So, before I go and touch the skull, uh, as you saw there, when she did that little praying notion, and the light came down and shined on her and everything, her health started to go up. When that happens, you need to throw the numbing mist, or uh, throw it before, because there's like a maybe two, three second interval from when she stops moving, gets into that pose, and then starts healing. So as soon as you see her get in that pose, just throw the numbing mist, and it'll stop her from healing any kind of damage. So... Now, come up here and inspect the skull. Master Willem, I've come to bid you farewell. Oh, I know, I know. You think now to betray me. No, but you will never listen. I tell you, I will not forget our adage. We are born of the blood. Made men by the blood. Undone by the blood. Our eyes are yet to open. Fear the old blood. I must take my leave. Alright, so, that was, um, Fear of the Old Blood is the passcode that you need to get into the Forbidden Woods. So that's why, you know, I couldn't get in there before, is because I haven't, I had it, if I can talk, I had not, uh, learned the passcode yet. So... Now, hopefully, I can get through this without dying. You're gonna hear the brain sucker. <laughs> So there's a blood gemstone, and then an antidote. Antidote will come in handy for the Forbidden Woods, so... The password... Uh, the password... <laughs> Alright. So now, as you can see, he is dead, because he was literally literally sitting here waiting for someone to come with the password so talk to him it says already dead and you get a madman's knowledge from him I got kind of turned around <laughs> alright so I don't believe there's anything in either corner nope so, right here, you want to be careful because that is a long way down and you will die. But, uh, from here you can see the Forbidden Woods and everything. I actually kind of like this view. It's all dark and gloomy and it's just a really cool view in my opinion. And this is just death. You can see an item right there, but we're not going to get that yet. And as you can see, the enemies do a hell of a lot of damage. Ah, 
God dang it. I hate this one because it's just really hard to get the timing down in my head. <laughs> got lucky. Alright, so twin bloodstone shards off the hand. And a pebble. Yay, a pebble. And this asshole throws oil at you. And he doesn't drop any. So it's just a dick move. <laughs> uh, up here, I don't think there's anything. Oh, never mind, there's another beast. But, uh, where's this go? I've never actually wandered up here. Oh, nope, it's one of those guys. I am definitely not tangling with him right now. So we'll explore that when I have more strength and everything. <laughs> Alright, so, these is the Forbidden Woods. So, yeah. Uh, I'm going to end the video here. I hope you guys enjoyed.